believe it. I can't believe you won't let me go. Everyone else is allowed to go, but I'm not allowed to go. You're the worst parents ever. I hate you. I wish I was adopted. Has door slamming and yelling become everyday communication in your home? Are his adoption wishes crushing your parental esteem? Well, don't worry. Dr. Rudy is here with more timely advice for all you perturbed parents whose little angel has fallen along with his testicles and turned into a teenage devil. There is a way to teach your child how to respect your feelings. When he next tries emotional blackmail by wishing he was adopted, just tell him he is. I wish I was adopted. You are. The shock admission is sure to get his attention. Then continue by telling him that since things obviously aren't working out, you'd appreciate it if he could start looking for his biological parents now. If the child remains skeptical about your confession, prepare an old shoebox full of history to further legitimize your claims. An old birth certificate from a country town and a tatty black and white photo of a girl too young to be a responsible mother should convince him that any family resemblance is just a coincidence. And if you really want to teach him a lesson, just tell him that you've taken the liberty of tracking down his real parents for him and they will be here to pick him up soon. Now, just get two of your friends and dress them as a teenager's worst parental nightmare and send him on his way. You were going to live with them now. And you won't be needing that where you're going. It'll only take a buggy ride around the block for him to realise that life with you isn't so bad after all. And you've taught him that when it comes to emotional blackmail, compared to you, he is a complete novice. This is Dr. Rudy asking you to remember me in your acceptance speech for Parent of the Year. Bye now. <laughs>